One of the nice things about a twist and go is you can actually create 10 to 12 different styles that all take less than 30 seconds. Starting off, this is what we call the basic bun. Take the twist and go and you fold it in half, place the hair in the center. It's important to give it a half twist under to form some tension. You pull back until you get towards the end, maintaining the tension all the while, you start rolling it up. Keep it nice and tight, not forgetting to maintain the tension. Take it all the way up to the scalp. Then you bring the loop down from behind. You fold it over to lock it in place. And with the two loose ends, you can form little rosettes. And in less than 30 seconds, you've got a real cute hairstyle. It's going to last all day long. Now, to do a bun on yourself, you just take the twist and go, fold it in half, and place the hair in the center. Give it a half twist under to form the tension, and you pull straight back. When you get towards the end, you simply roll it up, remembering to maintain the tension. Take it all the way to the scalp. When you get to the scalp, take the looped end from behind, fold it over to lock it in place, and take the two loose ends to form a little rosette. And it's just that quick and easy to form a little bun. Just take it, tie it as you would a knot in your ponytail. Make it nice and tight. Make your little rosette. Again, just one of the many different hairstyles you can create with your twist and go that all take less than 30 seconds. One of the many styles you can create with the twist and go is a bun and pony. Simply take a portion of hair off the crown, clip it on top of your head, take the twist and go, fold it in half, place the hair in the center as you would if you were making a regular bun. Give it a half twist under to form the tension. Pull it back, keeping it tight. When you get towards the end, you roll it up. Again, it's very important to maintain the tension. When you get to the scalp, you flip your pony back. You take the looped end. You lock it in place. And with the two loose ends, you form little rosettes. And in less than 30 seconds, it's just that easy to form a cute hairstyle. It's going to last all day long. You begin by taking a lock of hair off your crown and hold it in place with a bobby pin or an easy clip. Take the remaining hair, and again, we're going to form a basic bun. Take the twist and go, fold it in half, place the hair in the center. Remembering to maintain the tension, give it a half twist under, and you pull straight back. When you get to the end, you roll it up, remembering to maintain the tension. Take it all the way to the scalp. When you get to the scalp, you reach up and you grab your ponytail and drop it in place. Now you take the looped end, you twist it around, lock it in place, and you take the two loose ends and you form your little rosettes. And you have a fun and easy hairstyle that's going to last all day long. Now, what I think is one of the more exotic hairstyles that you can easily do with a twist and go is what we call a French twist. You take a twist and go, fold it in half, place the hair in the center. Again, give it that half twist under to form that ever important tension, and you pull straight back. When you get towards the end, you turn one end over, and you continue to roll it up. You continue that spiral upwards all the way to the scalp. Make it nice and tight. Then you bring the looped end under, you lock it in place, and you bring one of the loose ends up, and you make your little rosette. And just that simple, you have a hairstyle that looks like you spent all day at the hair salon. Beautiful. This next hairstyle is one of my favorites. I like to call it soft and sexy. It is, I think, one of the most feminine of any hairstyles. 
You start by taking the twist and go, folding it in half and placing the hair in the center. Give it a half twist under to form the tension, which is most important. And this time, you start by pulling straight up. You take it about halfway up, and then you start rolling it downwards. You take it about halfway down, then you lower it. And this is going to create a real soft and real full effect, which I just think is the ultimate in a feminine hairstyle. My favorite. We call this a double bun. You take a portion of hair, this time off the crown, take a twist and go and fold it in half, and you pull back and make just a regular bun with the top portion of the hair. You roll it up, and remember it's real important to keep it tight, maintaining the tension, take it all the way to the scalp, and secure it as you would a regular bun. Now you take the second twist and go, and do the same thing. Fold it in half, place the hair in the center, give it a half twist under to form the tension, pull straight back until you get to the end, then you roll it up. Remembering to keep it nice and tight. Take it all the way to the scalp, wrap the second bun around the first bun, secure it in place, and then form rosettes and you'll find that you've created a hairstyle that will just amaze your friends. This one is a lot of fun. Another simple variation on the bun is what we call a scallop bun. To accomplish this, you just take the twist and go, you fold it in half, place the hair in the center, give it a half twist under, it's very important to form that tension. Now instead of pulling back, we pull straight down. And what this is going to accomplish is the bun being situated lower on the head, forming more of a scallop effect than a bun effect. And it's just that simple to do something real quick and easy. And again, it takes less than 30 seconds. You can also use your twist and goes for an accessory when you're braiding your hair. Take a twist and go. Tie it around your hair as you would if you were making a ponytail. Divide your hair into two sections and braid as you would if you were braiding four sections of hair. You take one over the other and you continue braiding all the way on down. When you get towards the bottom, you can take the remaining twist and go and form a little rosette, which will secure the braid and make it help last all day long. To use your twist and go to form a real simple and easy headband, just take it from behind, wrap it on top of your head, make it comfortable for yourself, and twist it one time is all it takes. Form a little rosette, and you just twist and go. Another fun variation that you can do with your twist and go is called a bun and fringe. As the name would indicate, you start off just as you would with a regular bun, take the twist and go, fold in half, place the hair in the middle. This time, do not go back quite as far. And then you start rolling it up. Take it all the way to the scalp as you normally would a regular bun. Bring it around, take the looped end, lock it in place. Take the two loose ends, form your little rosettes. And by not going back as far, when you pulled your hair back, you create a real pretty attractive fringe. 